Good morning. Good morning. Today we observe the Friday of the second week of Lent. Our Mass intention today is for Razor Garcia, the deceased, and this Mass is being live streamed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attend the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age, and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all, of all of his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flocks in Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, your brothers you know are tending our flocks in Shechem. Get ready, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Dotham. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, here comes that master dreamer. Come on, let us kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns here. We could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, we must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, just throw him into the cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Galeeb, their camels laden with gum, balm, and resin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, what is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. A responsorial psalm. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with feathers, and he was bound with chains till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember, Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Father, your blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise and, and honor, honor to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise, Praise and honor to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, 
put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered Jesus, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper time. Jesus said to them, did you never read in scripture, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard this parable, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. The kingdom of God shall be given for those who may produce much fruits. What does it mean to us? Do we really produce much fruits in our journey of life? Do we really recognize the presence of God in our journey of life? The first reading today challenges us. You hear Joseph among his brothers. He was not liked by his brothers. Instead of sitting together and take out their differences, they had envy because he was a man of dream and he was so gifted. And for them, they saw him as someone who was not in their line. So what did they decide to do? They wanted to kill him. And they tried to do that. And unfortunately, they put him on the system in order to leave him that died himself. But likely, the people were going along. They took him as a slave. My ways are not your ways. And my thoughts are not your thoughts. God's ways always can surprise us. He knew what they are going to do. And because he prepared that mission, he followed Joseph in his journey. Joseph, he went up to Egypt. And later, he became a big guy. And one day, his brothers, they were asked by their father to go and search for food. When there is a problem, that's the time we can come closer to God. Go and look for food. And when they went there, they met Joseph. They didn't know Joseph was already changed. And when he saw them, he didn't tell them, but he talked with them and he gave them food, but he said, one of you has to remain here. Go and bring your father. When they went there, and go and bring your brother. And when they were on the way, they said, where are we going to get our brother? We are sure he died. We don't know where he is. And when they came again for the second time, he was in tears because he has to reveal to them who he is. I am Joseph the one whom you wanted to kill me. But God's ways are not your ways. Friends, no matter what you do, remember, 
God always knows what you are doing. Whether you are doing in darkness, whether you are doing in the light, God knows what you are doing. Be who you are and accept who you are and recognize your limitation and ask the Lord to guide you and give you strength. Today is the gospel we hear Jesus is telling the Jewish people that God has planned now to give the kingdom to those people who can produce much fruit. This time of Lent, we are called to continue to recognize that we are called to produce much fruit so that the kingdom of God may continue to be in our hands, in our life. Let us walk through and accept that God always awaiting us with the, our open arms to embrace us and forgive us. Don't hesitate to come forward to God and ask you for his mercy. Amen. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us this wonderful day. And as we continue to ponder, especially for the first two reading, we see Jesus, the way he was so compassionate and so ready to forgive his brothers. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we acknowledge that as human beings, sometimes we are limited on the way we see things. Gives us this courage, especially this time of Lent, to embrace and recognize that you are always awaiting us with your love. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are struggling in their faith, and especially for those they don't see clearly where you are. Through our prayers and through our participation, we can live, help them to uplift their souls. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have lost their dear ones, and especially for those who are fighting in Ukraine. Lord, give them strength so that they may come together as people of God. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, Father we, we praise and thank you for the past 50 years. Your grace, grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and serve our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the parish foundation and for all those who throughout the years have joined us in our mission, in our celebrations, or have sought our help. Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just uh, due to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, love that you for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the choice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Reza Garcia, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in their hope of the resurrection, and all have died of no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask if you're watching us live stream to please put a note in the chat box. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
God loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Gary, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. If you have time, go and read the first reading today. Just read it slowly and meditate. What does it mean? Because it happens even in our family lives. You can even imagine the brothers, how? What pushes them to put their brother in that situation? Envy, uh, jealousy, and the what? Because what we are all working on the common, uh, the kingdom of God. When there is no love, always, there is no peace. And when there is no peace, always, there is no unity. So let us continue to respond to what God is telling us. Love one another as I have loved you. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks to be to God.